Hey 10, so as promised, here's a quick video on graphing using slope and y-intercept. So if we take a look at our line right here, we have y equals 2x minus 3. And when we look at it, um, we know that um, the number that's all by itself, that has to be the y-intercept. And we know that the number that is beside the x, that has to be the slope. So this is actually one of the nicer forms to graph with um, because right away you can just start graphing. So if we assume that all of these are one unit, so one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, um, et cetera, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and negative five, makes this a bit easier to graph. So I know my y-intercept is negative 3, and I know that my y-intercept is on my y-axis. So this is my y-axis, and somewhere along here I need to put minus 3. So I am going to, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, so let's just write these down again, negative 5. So right here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, I am going to put a dot to represent my y-intercept. And so now that I have graphed the y-intercept, and I'm just going to put a uh, point beside it, so my y-intercept is at an x of 0 and a y of negative 3. Um, now what I want to do is I need to cut, find out some other points on the line. So this is where my slope comes in because my slope tells me how steep the line is. So how I, much I rise vertically and how much I run horizontally. So in this case, when I take a look here, my slope is actually equal to two. Well, my slope, which the letter that I use to represent slope is M, is equal to rise over run. And in this case, my slope is equal to two. But you'll notice that when you're talking about slope, it's a rise over run. So I need to rewrite this as a fraction. So what I know is, since it's not in fraction form, that I have to put it into fraction form. Well, the only number I can divide a number by and have it stay the same is one. So this is going to become two over one because two divided by one is just two. So now I have a rise and a run and I can use it to, um, to get my next point. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to start at my y-intercept, and then I'm going to rise to, so 1, 2, so it's going up because it's rising, and then I'm going to run 1, and I go to the right because it's, um, again, positive 1. So I created my second point, and then I'm going to go again, so I'm going to rise 1, 2, and I'm going to run 1, and then I'm going to just do one more point just to be safe, so I'm going to rise 2, and run one. And now I can take my ruler and you'll see that my points go through the whole line. So, whoops, my ruler goes through all of the points. So now I can connect the dots and extend my line. And I have drawn a line using the slope of two and the y-intercept of negative three. So just to recap, anytime you have an um, equation in the form y equals mx plus b, the number in front of the x is your slope and the number by itself is your y-intercept. You always plot the y-intercept, so down here at negative three, and then you use the slope to get to the next set of points. So slope is always how much it's rising compared to how much it's running. So how much is going up vertically compared to how much is going across horizontally. Um, because it's not a fraction, I make it a fraction by putting two over one because anything divided by one stays the same. And now I can start here and I can rise two and run one and rise two and run one and rise two and run one. And rise two and run one. Um, so that's it using slope y-intercept form. And in the next video, I'll show you to how to graph um, using x and y-intercepts. So stay tuned. Yeah.